kind of some wild fan encounter. Like, what's the what is the maddest thing a fan has given you or done or whatever? Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, no, she can't get it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, get, I'll, get in, I'll get in a lot of trouble for telling this story. Ooh. <laughs> OK. So it's not we... too late to back out. <laughs> it is. Shut up. Shut up. I'm in. Sorry, sorry. I'm in. Go. <laughs> OK. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm telling this, but I will. So, <laughs> back in the day, I was renting a castle, right? Of course you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, that's my life. I was renting a castle and we were renting it to rehearse in for a tour. And I was in this big room in this castle. I'd gone to sleep and I'd woke up and I was lying on my bed. And I was cognizant and I was awake, but I hadn't opened my eyes yet. And I was getting more and more confused because I could swear there was somebody in my room and I could swear that they were sort of tidying up or cleaning or something. And sure enough, I opened my eyes and there was a lady at the bottom of the bed. Now, and she could have been anywhere from 28 to 58. <laughs> <laughs> and she got this headset on and it had got a tape on and the lead went down to a cassette player. Now, we were way in the days of CDs at this time, and I was like, wow, this situation's really odd, but you just woke up, so you don't really know what's going on. And she looks at me, and uh, I look at her, and I went, all right? <laughs> and she went, all right? And she looked on the floor where my underpants were, and she went, Calvin Klein's? <laughs> and I went, yeah. She went, pussy. <laughs> I'm like... OK, this is definitely <laughs> really weird. <laughs> and she went, have you got morning glory? <laughs> <laughs> and this, is, this is back in the day when I used to have morning glory. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll wank you off. <laughs> I'm a creative fella, and I'm really young. I can close my eyes and pretend it's somebody else. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, go on then. <laughs> so anyway, 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 she does, she does the dirty deed, and it's, it's confusing, and I felt defiled. <laughs> <laughs> and um, off she went on her merry way. And that night, I was with the lady that ran the castle. It was her job to run the castle. I said, you know what? I said, uh, your cleaner's weird. <laughs> and she said, uh, what, what do you mean? I said, the cleaner that came in today, she's weird. She said, we don't have cleaners on a Wednesday. <laughs> Just somebody that had walked in off the street with a feather duster <laughs> come up and give me a hand job <laughs> and then left. But not only that, cut to like three years later, I'm with my band and I'm like, and it was just a lady that had come up, give me a oh, hand no. job and left. And my guitarist went, No. That's Maureen from the pub. She said, <laughs> she said she did that, but nobody believed her. <laughs> That's the best thing. We can all go home now. That's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Has anybody else <laughs> just shitted on my President Obama story? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the address of the castle. Maureen <laughs> <laughs> will definitely come and visit you. <laughs> oh, man. What a lovely, lovely story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids. <laughs>